Hi, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at adding Copilot into GitHub. So the first thing we're doing here is to um, is to open VS Code. So I have it ready. Let's close it and open it. So we're opening up VS Code. I'm just going to install a couple of extensions here um, after we have signed up for the actual uh, Copilot. So Copilot is offered free to students. Uh, so if you are a student, you should go to this link. Otherwise, you just can go to, uh, to your GitHub account and sign up for, for Copilot. Um, okay, so get free access to Copilot Pro as a student or teacher. So that's where we want to click on. And then we would go ahead, if you're a student or a teacher, go ahead and click here, apply for GitHub Education student and you're going to go ahead and just scroll down you'll have to take some pictures upload some proof uh, and basically just kind of understand all of this um, it seems to be easy for some people difficult for others but basically this is this is the process um, you know just keep at it and uh, you know if you're a legitimate student or teacher uh, you should be able to get authenticated and get into a free get a pro account which is a pretty good value so um, Okay, so that is the first step. Now, once you have your GitHub Pro account, um, sorry, your, uh, your Copilot Pro account tied to your GitHub account, um, uh, you can go ahead and do what we're about to do inside of VS Code. Um, you can also use Copilot for free. So, you know, once you, um, if you, if you put in the extension, then, then do Copilot, um, uh, and also use it with a free version, I believe, still. Um, there are a lot of AI coding options at this point. Um, there is some argument as to which one is the best one, clearly. You know, that's a it's a very rapidly changing landscape. So uh, in my experience, I tried a few different ones. I found that this, because it basically gives you access to, you know, Copilot doesn't operate their own AI. They have a back end. In this case, back end is uh, ChatGPT. Um, they have a couple other options as well. Um, basically, you're getting a free, uh, essentially a free uh, account, not only in Copilot, but a free uh, use of ChatGPT as also, which is which has its own value. So, okay, uh, so once you've done that, then we're going to go back in and get into VS Code. So we have VS Code open here, and we're going to go to the Extension Manager. Now, this is kind of a fresh install here. I haven't put in Python uh, extensions yet. So we're just going to go ahead and type in Python and install. And this is really just to, to show VS Code working. Um, you don't need to do this depending on what, what you want to program with it. So I click install, and now it's installing. All right. Um, then we're going to go ahead and type in Copilot. Uh, go ahead and install that. So it basically installed Copilot, GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot chat. Um, so we can go in ahead and um, log in. Sorry, here we go. I missed it. Okay, so down at the bottom here, kind of hard to see, to be honest with you. Down at the bottom uh, bar here, it says signed out, and we're going to go and sign in and use Copilot. So that's what we're going to do right now. Sign in and use Copilot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a different account here. And two authentication.
All right, so that is it. So once you are logged in, you'll see that basically it's logged in at this point. Um, and that is about it. So, so we can do a couple of different things here. Uh, let's get into a, uh, um, and I'll just show you how I've used it so far. I'm sure there's many, many ways to use it. I'm going to go new file and just do a sample.py. Okay, so uh, so there are a couple different ways to use it. First of all, you can add context. So if you want to, to look at multiple files you're working with, you can add you can click on add context here and actually add separate files. So say you have, you know, a library that you're using or, uh, you know, you're using, um, you've written a couple classes in a couple different files and you're using them in the file that you're working in. Basically, you can add context in. Uh, here. Um, you can also go in and decide which of the, back, the backend AIs uh, you would like to use. So notice they have Claude, Gemini, uh, ChatGPT. Um, you know, it's a pretty pretty good value. So, um, okay, you can also talk to it. Uh, so in this case, um, we could say, uh, if we want to put in the chat, um, let's say that we want to uh, we want to have a function that um, is write a Python function which Wes user wide city and produces a list of possible zip codes. Okay, so that's something that I would have to research all day if I wanted to do that. Let's see what it does. Okay, pretty straightforward, right? So, so this is a case where you know, and this is this is kind of my experience with it. Um, so it basically gives us, hey, you know, you need to, you know, it resources a library that you need to use or some other code that's out there. Let's say that I want to install this. Um, I might go new. Permits.txt. And. Okay, so I would have to install uh, this, uh, this library. Uh, and then it basically gives me a, a function to use. Um, which is which is useful. There we go. So so now is this is it working function? Maybe maybe not. Um, you know uh, it looks pretty good on the outset. Oftentimes there might be some one or two things to fix, or maybe you know maybe uh, some of the some of the um, training for AI is a bit out of date. You know things move kind of quick with programming. Um, so oftentimes, you know, you might need to try a couple of different times. You can also, uh, you know, in the chat, you can also ask it to improve. You could say, um, you could say, uh, you could say, um, could you also provide the time zone? For the selected uh, uh, city entered by the U. Okay, so in this way, you can basically have it work. You know, it kind of the same way you use ChatGPT. You can essentially kind of kick back to the to GitHub Copilot, and you can ask it to edit the code that it's been running. Um, so that is one way to do it. So there we have it. So. Say we have this code working. Uh, so there we have our code. Basically, you know, it's asking, you know, it's providing the zip code and possible zip codes and um, time and um, and time zones. Okay. So let's say that um, let's say that we want to then uh, let's say that we don't want to use the chat. Um, notice that I I close the chat. We can open that back up if we want to. Um, back up. I don't use the chat that much, to be honest with you. Let's say that we want to have it rewrite some code for us. So what we can also do just in line, we can go Control I, and we can say, please 
rewrite prompts to be more friendly but also formal okay so notice that now um notice that now um we go ahead and it, we asked a question. It added this code in, right? So welcome to City Information Finder. This tool will help you. So it adds some you know, additional prompts for the user to make it sound more friendly and formal. And if we want to, we can accept this or we can just hit escape uh, and basically get rid of it. So if I um, escape and we can just get rid of it if we don't want to use it. You can also highlight code. Um, so we can basically highlight this code and then click on this um, show actions and we can go modify or review using Copilot. Um, so basically, let's say that we get we, um, that. So we can highlight it and go ask Copilot. And then we can say, uh, please make the input prompts more friendly. Great, and it goes in and edits those codes, the, those input prompts. Now, is it more friendly? I'm not sure. Be the judge. Uh, let's go ahead and click accept. Um, then what we can also do, let's say that we do something like this. Let's say we have some error, you know, something like that. We can also highlight this code and we can say, hey, um, you know, hey, uh, fix using Copilot or explain using Copilot or review using Copilot. So, so in this case, let's just go fix. Um, Really straightforward, right? So we're going to accept that. Notice it only fixed one, interestingly enough. Um, so let's go ahead and fix it again. Right. So, so basically, what we have here is that uh, is that you know these are some basic functions of Copilot. They're really very useful. Um, you can do it in other types of files as well. Um, let's go here. So, for example. Um, Let's say that I want to in this in this code I want to um, you know alphabetize it so so uh, I could here so we say alphabetize this file by line retaining all Okay, now notice this is a very common thing that I find with um, with Copilot. So basically what we see here is that it has repeated lines. So essentially what has happened here is it didn't really understand what you wanted it, right? So so basically what I had here was, was uh, you know, it basically duplicated, right? Um, so let's try it again. So basically, uh, you know, and it has its own memory, so we can click the up arrow. Um, I'm sure there's a better way to interact with this. So notice that it didn't, it did the same thing again. So, um, so basically we can go accept um, and you know, you be the judge. So it did, did it, uh, did it alphabetize lines? Yes. Um, did it also duplicate lines? Also, yes. So, so, um, so this has my, been my experience with all of it, the uh, current versions of AI um, coding assistants. You know, they're great. They, they are very helpful. Uh, they're getting better all the time, um, but you do have to kind of watch the output and learn the intricacies and anomalous behaviors of all of them as well. Okay, so that is, uh, that is, um, that is uh, installing a Copilot and some of its basic use. I'm sure in 15 minutes, you're gonna be far better at using it than I am. Uh, so uh, best of luck, have fun.